None of the bands fit a mold. All of them were so original as to warrant a strange kind of attention. I mean, one of the most complimentary things I've ever heard about my band was when Jerry Wexler wanted to sign us to Atlantic, and we did a, you know, we, we did a thing. It didn't, it, it, it had a crisis to it, but I won't tell that long story because Keith Richards was mixing Crazy Mama when we got to the studio, so the engineer couldn't set it up, so the vocals were in the control room and the music was on, out on the floor, and they went, you know, they went back and forth. And I had to go to the bathroom, and I heard Armand Ergen turn to Jerry and say, Jerry, I, I can't sign this band. This is not earth music. And I, I'm proud of that. You know, he had come from a Sarah Vaughan session to a television session. I mean, that he didn't get it, I, you know, and all of the bands were like that. You look askance at that. You say, is that really real? Is that good or not? I don't know. But it has the germ of something. All the bands that survived and that made it and did something. B-52s, a second wave. Uh, first time I saw them, I was jumping up and down on the table like a monkey. <laughs> I loved it. Um, but all the bands that hatched and were taken up by record companies until the nest was empty. Then another group came in and there were a few out of that. And then it kind of, you know, CBGBs went away in a way till they brought in hardcore in 85. And then that was a whole nother genre. Everybody was in competition with everybody else. At the same time, everybody was friends with everybody else, except for some notable exceptions, you know, of people who were aloof, let's say. But mostly people, nobody jammed with each other. I mean, I, I sat in with the New York Dolls once, um, a place called Club 82, but nobody, nobody, like, you know, the bands were the bands were the bands and they were all separate. You, did, you didn't have collaborative efforts between them. So there was a camaraderie, a knowledge we all shared that we were all working towards a common goal of getting signed and being able to, you know, have our music heard. And at the same time, you know, there was a, a, a certain edge of com competition. But the way, as I said, the way Terry and television set it up, two bands a night, two sets apiece, really smoothed out a lot of edges.